Hello. Right, as a, a pest controller, a lot of people always ask me about foxes and how do I get rid of foxes. The truth of the matter is I don't actually get rid of foxes. I don't like to get rid of foxes. You can buy those specialist services in, but I'd rather give people a tip. So the tip that I want to give you, and people always say, oh, is it the urine tip? Um, yeah, it is a urine tip, but there is a process to the actual what to do with the uh, urine so um, someone said to me look Vic you know you should really um, upload a video and uh, explain to people the actual process because they didn't realize that there was actually um, a process to it so basically I'm going to do my best to demonstrate uh, on what and how you should uh, do the process for the urine it's not just a matter of getting your partner your male partner to urine in the garden there's a lot more to it than that so um, I don't actually have a man in my life anymore so um, I've had to improvise so please do bear with me but basically what you need to do is is um, obviously depending on the size of your garden uh, will determine on how much uh, of the urine that uh, that you need to make so um here's a bottle uh this hasn't got urine in it at all i've just had to improvise i'm using tropical juice for this demonstration to kind of give you the idea uh so you you just fill um a bottle about this size um and uh, you fill it with a man's urine. Uh, it has to be a man's urine. It's much stronger. It's got the testosterone levels in it as well. Um, and what you do is, is that normally, um, if your partner likes a good drink up, or you know, you like to go out the weekend, the morning wee is normally the best wee. It's much. It's been fermented over in the body overnight, and so the 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 morning wee is much more stronger. So uh, if you can get as much urine in the bottle as possible. Then what you need to do is, is that you need to get rager cupboards. If you like spicy foods, anything like that, the stronger the spice, the better the result. Uh, and so you just, just sprinkle um, some different spices inside the, the bottle that you've just made with, with, with the urine. Uh, I've got here um, some chicken grill rub seasoning. I don't, I've never even used it, I don't even know, I just found it in my cupboard. And the other one is like jerk seasoning as well. Uh, there are obviously mo so many uh, spices that you can use in the market. It doesn't have to be expensive, go and get the value stuff. The stronger the better, basically. You then, what you then do is, is that once you've put the spices inside here, you give it a good shake, uh, and then you leave the urine, the bottled urine, no matter how many bottles you've got, on, um, uh, the windowsill so that the sunlight can get to it so it starts to ferment uh, and it gets warm and stuff like that if it's in the winter that you're doing then this then put it by near a radiator uh, and stuff like that and obviously keep an eye on it I'm not sure um, you know if, if heat gets too much to it it could actually explode and then that would be quite ugh, horrible in your no, horrible smell in your in your room but you know keep an eye on it use some scents keep an eye on it leave it on there to ferment for a good two to three days give it a good shake after say the second or third day depending on on how long it's been fermenting for you know you then go out into your garden or even at the front uh, wherever the foxes have, uh, have been and you just sprinkle the perimeter of your garden uh, it won't um, harm any you know don't do it near any flowers or anything like that but just just try and do it around the perimeter of the garden and also if you've got a shed do it around that area as well the idea around it um, is that uh, if a, a fox comes along obviously they they smell a lot it's very sense um, they will then smell that strong urine and think oh there's a much bigger fox in that uh, garden I'm not going in there uh, and uh, and uh, also as well as that if you've got a female fox a vixen with her cubs and she's got a den underneath uh, your shed she will move those cubs to a much safer environment because she'll think that her her cubs are, are at, at risk um, and stuff so that that's kind of it really that that and it does work um, when I first heard about it over seven years ago I thought that's crazy that's not going to work but actually over the years I've always given this tip and I always say to people do give me a call and let me know and everybody always come you know they, they ring me up or they drop me a text and they say Vic you're absolutely right I have got no more foxes they're not coming in anymore I didn't wake up with foxes poo on my doorstep because they've done that before you know so it does work obviously when it rains it's going to wash that urine away you just repeat the process so hopefully 
I've given a nice free easy tip um, you just got to get loads of men now around and start um, peeing in the bottles um, and that's it really so anything else uh, if you want me to get rid of any other uh, pests by all means do give me a call I'm based in Beckenham in South East London in Kent I cover a vast amount of areas looking forward to receive your call this is me uh, Vicky ladybug pest control uh, so I'm there give me a call um, and that's it. Have a really good day and I hope uh, I've been really helpful. Bye!